Hi, this is Robert Payne. In this brief video, I'll show how to set up my newest indicator for Thinkorswim, cumulative delta volume. Now, the first thing to know about this indicator is that because Thinkorswim does not provide volume information at the bid or ask price, we'll need to gather that data ourselves using a tick chart. So to get started, come over to the time frame settings and then change the aggregation type to tick. Set the time interval to the maximum of five days and then drop the aggregation period all the way down to single tick and click OK. It should only take a couple seconds for that data to load in. Once it has, click the beaker icon to go to edit studies. At this point, if you have not already loaded the indicators into Thinkorswim, you could do so by clicking the import button, then navigating to your downloads folder where you should see both cumulative price and cumulative delta volume. To add those indicators to your charts, search on RP underscore cumulative. Here you see both cumulative price and cumulative delta volume. These two indicators are going to work in conjunction with one another to create our candlestick charts. The first, cumulative price, combines tick data to create our price action candlesticks, while cumulative delta volume does the same for volume. As you can see at this point, we have tick data at the top of the charts, followed by price action and cumulative delta volume. By default, the charts are set to a one minute time frame, but that can easily be changed within settings. First, for cumulative price, the settings are session start, aggregation period in minutes, and then fill up, fill down, and the colors will change the way the candlesticks look. For cumulative delta volume, you've got a couple extra settings. Again, session start, aggregation period in minute, accumulation type. Now, this can be set to either bar or session. With it set to bar, the volume base value will be set to zero for each candlestick. When set to session, volume will pick up at the close of the previous candlestick. One very important caveat to be aware of is that Thinkorswim limits the maximum tick data to only 40,000 ticks. Now, the easiest way to see this is to unhide the tick stats. Now, as you can see, we've got a total of 40,000 ticks available. With an average of 141 ticks per candle, we're able to compute 284 one-minute candles. Now, if we change the time setting to five minutes, you'll see the effect this has. Now, because Thinkorswim is still limiting us to the same 40,000 ticks, now we have an average of 714 ticks per five minute candle, which means we can only compute 56 candles with the amount of data that's available.